In this tutorial, you will learn how to create your own surreal nighttime color grading from scratch. With this one simple technique, you can create an unlimited amount of effects. I'll be using the desktop version of Lightroom CC, but you can also follow along using Lightroom CC for a phone or tablet, Lightroom Classic CC, or Photoshop via the camera raw filter. First, we're going to shift the hue towards two colors. In the color section, click on the color mixer button. This tool lets you shift the colors. Start by picking two colors. I'll pick cyan and magenta. We're going to shift everything towards those two colors. I'll start with my first color, cyan. Select the colors beside cyan and move the hue of those colors towards cyan. For blue, I'll shift the hue towards the left. For green and yellow, I'll shift those hues towards the right. Next, I'll shift the rest of the colors towards magenta. For purple, I'll drag it all the way towards the right. And then towards the left for red and orange. So depending on your photo, you might have more of one color than the other. To change the balance between these two colors, you can use the white balance slider. Here's what the image looks like so far. Next, we're going to use the RGB tone curves to tint the shadows and highlights. In the light section, click on the tone curve button. Now if you're not familiar with the tone curves, you can watch my tutorial on the tone chart technique. That tutorial will help you understand how it works. You can find the link to that tutorial in the video description below. But for now, just follow along. I want to give my photo a purple tint. So to do so, I'll go to the green channel and drag the top right point downwards. This will tint the highlights purple. By the way, if you don't see this gradient background, just imagine it. It's currently only available in Lightroom CC. If you're using Lightroom Classic CC or Photoshop, you won't see it. My best advice is to memorize this background and imagine it whenever you're using the RGB tone curve. To tint the shadows purple, I'll go to the blue channel and lift the bottom left point. To get purple, I need to combine blue with red. So I'll go to the red channel and drag the bottom left point upwards as well until I get the purple that I like. Go back into the channels and fine tune the results to get the colors that you like. You can also experiment with different color combinations. But if you're not that familiar with the tone curves, don't add any points. Just keep it simple and stick to these straight lines with two points. We're done. Here's what our photo looks like before and after. There's a lot of color combinations that you can use, so play around and see what you can get. If you need some inspiration, check out Masashi Wakui on Instagram. He has a lot of amazing photos with a similar post-processing style. By the way, if you're looking for a new way to post-process your photos, check out my Night Shift presets at foxcolor.com. They give your photos really cool effects that are made specifically for nighttime cityscapes. There are three presets that you can download for free. They are natively compatible with Lightroom Mobile, so you can edit wherever you are, on your phone, on your tablet, even on your browser, and you get access to the built-in opacity slider, so if you need something that's lighter or stronger, you have full control over that. If you like it and want more, upgrade to the Pro version or the Studio version. If you do, thank you so much. It helps out a lot and I'm very grateful for your support. The Pro version will give you 12 Lightroom presets that you can choose from. The best one is the Studio version, and that will give you 14 Lightroom presets, and you'll also get LUTs that you can use in other software like Premiere, After Effects, Affinity Photo, and more.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please remember to hit the like button. First of all, thank you guys so much for helping us reach over 24,000 subscribers. That's amazing and I really appreciate your support. As usual, if you have any requests, just let me know in the comments below. For this tutorial, we kept everything very simple. And now that people are editing on their phone, they're shooting videos and they want to post process their videos, I just want to show you that it's still possible to get these really crazy color gradings using very few adjustments. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.